Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I am your host, Kim Warner, and we're going to go back into um, discussing just a little bit about the inner child, just some examples of what the inner child is taking you to. I did a recording yesterday on the inner child, <laughs> and um, um, you know, she'll or he'll show you some dynamics in your life that you grew up with that you did not really like and they became a part of your psyche and you know unconsciously a lot of us don't know that we're still living in those unconscious uh, behaviors or thoughts so one of them would be bullying if you were bullied you might become the bully or you are the one um, that's still being bullied in your life and relationships at work or you know, one of my favorite ones is a child is to be seen and not heard. Parents, do we know the damage that that does? I would say it's a mantra because I heard it as a mantra. Do you know the damage that that does to children? Because they take it into their grown-up lives and then they have problems with relationships and work relationships because either they're going to over-talk or either they're going to under-talk. And so, under-talk means that sometimes children that have heard that are listening more than they are speaking and it becomes a problem in relationships because they become the listener of the relationship they actually become the one that takes the relationship serious when it comes to listening to um, the spouse or the girlfriend boyfriend or the one that is at um, in the workplace, um, the boss, you know, uh, just listening to people, they take it seriously. Now, when you are becoming aware of you are that child that is to be seen, you're beautiful, you're walking into the place with your man or you're that handsome dude and you're walking into the place with your beautiful woman, what happens is, is that people see you but they don't hear you. Why? Because you have not had the ability to practice exerting or speaking your truth, you know, people hearing your voice. And then, you know, it brings up something called passive aggressive behavior. And that passive aggressive behavior will become something that kind of like explodes uh, because that's the only time that people actually hear you. And then it causes chaos and dysfunction, but the dysfunction is a part of who you are. Many of us have experienced it. The key is realizing. Now, how do you get out of that? Because a lot of people are looking how, looking at how to get balance in those areas where even in their relationships, or work, work relationships, they're, you know, maybe feeling like they're not appreciated or being taken for granted. And the key thing is, is that you got to start speaking your truth wherever you are with your children you got to start speaking your truth um, on the freeway you know some people are in rages and they're cussing people out but you got to start speaking your truth and the reason why is because it's not hurting anyone but you when you are afraid to speak your truth and I said afraid because that's the key a lot of people say oh it's not that I'm afraid well then why are you not saying it sometimes it is because you're afraid that you don't want to hurt other people's feelings sometimes you really are that strong with your voice yes and sometimes you're not as strong but if you feel that you don't want to hurt other people you got to get to a place where you understand that you're hurting yourself when you don't speak up when you don't speak your truth and when you start speaking your truth it is going to hurt some people because they're used to being listened to they're used to everybody listening to them you know what I'm saying and that's not balance it's not the right way it's not the correct way to be in a relationship so you know if you are in a relationship or in work relationships friendships where everybody's always needing for you to listen to them it's time for you to consciously see what's happening there and give yourself a chance to speak 
you will have to find friends and people that actually listen to you um, because people in this type of situation that have been the listener are not going to be heard a whole lot of times by the people around them why because people have been used to them so it will break relationships when you start speaking up for yourself uh, and it will make relationships it will make people respect you more um, I'm not saying this in a dominance way I'm saying that um, it's about your health and your wellness therefore you become stronger this is where your power is your power is not just in listening your power is in being balanced and that is where the balance in your relationships what whatever you do driving going to work comes that's where your peace is you become a more peaceful person when you say what you feel and that's not meaning to you know dominate or break somebody down or you know <clears throat> live through your ego is simply you know paying attention to what makes you feel good because if you don't say what you feel about situations wherever it is um, that you need to speak up what's gonna happen is you're gonna be sick you're gonna get sick you know so I hope this video helps you know take some time with yourself because everyone has an inner child and some people have grown up and they didn't have these experiences that I'm talking about you were never bullied um, you didn't have parents that told you that children are to be seen and not heard you didn't have traumatic situations where you know there was psychological and emotional abuse but all of these put together these things put together um, and you can look at what you need to um, overcome and when you really look at it then you become more empowered because you're saying no I'm not that anymore I'm not showing up in the world as that anymore I'm not you know bringing a presence to emotional abuse or trauma or um, psychological abuse or that I have to listen to people all the time and they can't hear my point of view. A healthy relationship, job, wherever you are, <clears throat> is showing up in a, a communication of a, a circle. That means that my opinion, your opinion matters. We agree to disagree. We're not having fits because you disagree with what I'm saying. And sometimes, yeah, people are hurt when you speak up, when you start speaking up, because you weren't doing it before. And, you know, they have they have their own issues. They're used to people listening to them all the time and not having to listen to other people. Well, it's a new day. You know, the universe is coming in and is saying that, we want, we want everyone to be in harmony. We want everyone to be healed. We want everyone to be empowered. We don't want some to have the power. We want all to have the power. And that means that the universe is prompting people that have been in a position of not being heard to be heard. Look at the collective right now. Um, with all of the, the different things that's going on, protesting, you know what I'm saying? The equality of life is showing up and saying, speak your peace. And if you have people that don't respect that you have peace to speak, then let them go or let them resonate with it. Let them learn how to be proactive in a relationship. I don't think that all relationships should come to an end, but I think that if <clears throat> you have people, excuse me, I, I got something in my throat. If you have people that just want to be at the center of attention and they never give you the attention that you need to be heard, that's imbalance. And we want, we want balance. You know what I'm saying? So you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com for personal development sessions. Um, you can also become a part of our women's empowerment group, you know, um, letting go of codependence and um, all of those kind of issues that we've been a part of. I know a lot of people are looking for it. It's not just women, it's men as well. So we welcome you and um, also thank you for listening. I thank you for listening, subscribing, and sharing. All right. Have a wonderful day and blessings.